Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. We are continuing to emphasize Mark chapters 1 through 10 this week. And we are also continuing to try to emphasize a memory verse, a verse to learn, to remember by heart. And that is Mark 9 and verse 7. Mark 9 and verse 7 says this. And a cloud came and overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son. Hear him. One more time. Mark 9 and verse 7 says, And a cloud came and overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son. Hear him. We want to hear Jesus. We want to listen to Jesus. That's what the gospel of Jesus is all about, isn't it? Beginning in Mark 7 and verse 5, we want to take our, our final study of this week. Mark 7 and verse 5 says, Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why do the disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? And he answered and said to them, Well did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written. This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men, the washing of pitchers and cups, and many other such things as you do. He said that all too well you reject the commandment of God, that you may keep your tradition. For Moses said, honor your father and mother. And you curse his father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, if a man says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is Corban, that is, a gift to God, then you no longer let him do anything for his father or mother, making the word of God of no effect. Through your tradition, which you have handed down, and many such things you do. You know... Pharisees would argue, in fact, that was what they were arguing, that their traditions were law, trying to argue they were the law of God, that you had to wash your hands before you ate. Now, let's be perfectly clear. Nothing wrong with washing your hands before you eat. In fact, it's a very good idea, very sanitary. But there is a difference in doing that which is sanitary and that which is good, and elevating our traditions to be equal to or greater than the laws of God. Jesus went on to point out they had invented traditions in which they were able to allow themselves to undermine what God had told them. God told them to take care of your parents. They didn't find a way around that. We'll just give it to God. And then we don't have to do anything for our parents. He said, you violated the law of God. You know, we can be so blinded by what we think is good, what we think is just, instead of remembering Mark 9, 7. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. As we engage in worship, as we engage in serving, as we engage in doing the will of God, we must ask ourselves the question, did it come from God? Or is this some tradition that's been invented? There are so many things that people will defend to the death almost that are literally nothing more than tradition. You're not going to find them in the word of God. You're not going to find them revealed by God. You're not going to find them revealed by Jesus. But people will defend them as staunchly and as strongly as if they were. Let us have the faith. Let us have the courage to listen to Jesus when he says, don't violate the will of God with your traditions. Stick to what God has revealed. Stick to what God has told us to do. You know, this week, we've emphasized Mark 9, 7. This is my beloved son. Hear him. The gospel of Mark is a revelation of the good news of Jesus preaching that he came to save the sins of mankind. And he used his miracles to demonstrate that. I hope that we will devote this year, not just this week, not just these few minutes, but this year and our lives to listening to Jesus cloud came and overshadowed them and a voice came out of that cloud saying this is my beloved son hear him mark 9 verse 7 thank you for joining us this week continue to think on these things and we hope you'll join us again next week thank you
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.